Hi everyone, this is Destiny from The Book Clinic. Now, I'm assuming if you're watching this channel that you're a storyteller, and therefore I wouldn't be surprised if many of you had a dream of getting your screenplay produced by a major studio or being published by a big five publishing house. But how do you get your writing up to snuff? Well, in this video, I'll be giving you what I consider the number one tip to improve your writing fast. Surprisingly, I don't really see people talking about this on the internet, but in my opinion, the information I'm about to give you is the quickest and best way to improve your writing drastically in a short period of time. So let's dive in. People often think of writing as this intuitive, instinctive feel. You get bit by the inspiration bug, you sit down, and the words just spill out onto the page. This is why your people, everyone from successful published authors to your parents, telling you that getting a creative writing degree or taking classes is a waste of time and money. Good writers just have it, the thinking goes, and bad writers do not. I'm here to tell you those people are wrong. Yes, it's true that some people have a natural inclination or gift for writing. They have an ear for dialogue, a critical eye, or an intuitive understanding of story mechanics. But the best writers are great because of what Philip Hensher calls conscious craft. In other words, the best writers are intentional, applying proven story techniques to create the best story possible. Writing isn't just an art, but a craft. This means whether you have an inherent knack for it or not, there are certain techniques that you can use that are guaranteed to make your writing better. In another camp are the people who don't want to work at writing. Writing is their passion after all, and therefore it shouldn't be work, it should be fun. If writing is just a hobby for you, you just want to get your ideas on the page, you don't care whether they're good or not, then that is a perfectly valid attitude to have. But if you want to be published or have your script produced by a studio, then it is essential that you get a handle on at least the basic mechanics of storytelling. In my years as an editor and my time working in the publishing industry, it's become crystal clear to me that most authors lack an understanding of these storytelling mechanics, and it shows. Learning story structure won't box you in or limit your creativity. It will teach you how to make satisfying stories that engage the reader and maintain conflict and tension throughout. So let's get to the point of the video. How do you improve your writing fast? You study it. Let's walk through the best ways to go about that. My first pointer is read about writing. Think of the following lists as textbooks containing essential knowledge on story structure, theme, character arts and motivation, dialogue, world building, setting, and everything else you need to create a great story. Some of these are about screenwriting, but rest assured they contain storytelling fundamentals. Not to mention as books become more visual and rely ever more on showing rather than telling, it makes sense to borrow more cinematic techniques. Now there are a lot of books on writing. Luckily, I've sifted through a ton of them so you don't have to. I'm about to list the best books on fiction writing. Story by Robert McKee. The Anatomy of Story by John Truby. Creating Character Arts by K.M. Wyland. Into the Woods, A Five-Act Journey into Story by John York. Elements of Fiction Writing, Characters and Viewpoint by Orson Scott Card. And Writing Deep Scenes by Martha Alderson and Jordan Rosenfeld. The second way you can study writing is to just read, period. After reading about your craft, there's nothing better than to see how those techniques are applied in someone else's story. Read critically, taking note of what authors do well and where they fall short, just like I do on this YouTube channel. Notice your favorite author is great at delivering exposition through dialogue? Well, use it as a case study. Copy your favorite exchanges in a Word document and line by line, write out what each sentence does well. Copy your favorite exchanges in a Word document, print it out, and line by line, write out what each sentence does well. I know this sounds tedious and like a lot of work, but trust me, what you're doing is making a schematic for how to apply that technique in your story the same way your favorite author does. This exercise is very useful and I definitely recommend it for improving your storytelling skills. 
My third tip is to watch video essays. There are plenty of great channels on YouTube that break down storytelling fundamentals in a way that's engaging and easy to understand. Many of them base their lessons off of the very books I listed above. Besides my own channel, The Book Clinic, there are several others that I personally subscribe to and that have helped me improve my own writing by a lot. First, there's my channel, which I won't get into because you're watching it now. Second is Shailene Wrights. While the other channels on this list talk about macro level problems like story structure, characterization, and theme, Shailene gets into the nitty gritty of writing. This is the channel I would recommend most if you're looking to dramatically improve your prose or troubleshoot micro level problems. Just write savage books and lessons from the screenplay. These are three great channels that analyze television and film. They do everything from deep dives into a single scene of dialogue to rewriting entire films. These guys are bona fide storytelling mechanics and tell you what's going on under the hood. They essentially teach you how to read stories critically and if your own story is functioning the way it should. Finally, Brandon Sanderson's 2020 BYU Lectures. Full disclosure, Brandon Sanderson is one of my favorite authors. He teaches a creative writing class at Brigham Young University and puts his lectures on YouTube free of charge. While he writes fantasy and sci-fi, his lectures, with the exception of part of the world building lectures, are about the craft of writing and applicable to all genres. I highly recommend watching these lectures. They are all but guaranteed to improve your writing and change the way you approach storytelling. I know they definitely did that for me. Coming full circle, my last tip is to take creative writing classes. Take a creative writing class or enroll in a writing workshop or writing group. It is impossible for a writer to look at their own work objectively. Trust me, I'm both an editor and a writer and I am unable to edit my own work. To mature and grow as a writer, you need honest, actionable feedback from someone who knows the craft. Even more important, you need to learn how to accept constructive criticism without taking it personally. My own writing and storytelling skills grew exponentially when I started taking creative writing workshops in high school, and I learned what my own unfortunate patterns and pitfalls were. Do you use certain words way too often? Do your stories have a great opening but always fall apart in act two? Your peers will make you aware of these problems and help you to solve them. My last recommendation is to read blogs about writing, like the one I have on my website, bookclinicnyc.com. Basically, all the advice I've given you boils down to one thing, study your craft. The best way to get better at something is to study and learn from those who have already mastered it. So put on your reading glasses and get started. Happy writing. Did you think your novel was ready for publication only to receive a mountain of rejection letters or bad reviews? Have you poured your heart and soul into your story, but something isn't quite working and you don't know how to fix it? The best thing you can do is have a professional take a critical look at your manuscript. And that's where the book clinic comes in. I offer developmental editing, copy editing, and proofreading services, as well as an agent prep package to give you everything you need to start querying. I will not only help you write a compelling and engaging story, but I use my experience as a publishing industry insider to give you the advice you need to make an agent fall in love with your manuscript. If you're interested, check us out at bookclinicnyc.com. Let me bring the best out of your book.